woke up in the Shenandoahs today for the first time, which is cool. I slept super well. Um, and yeah, it was pretty a pretty standard morning from that point on. Um, this morning's hike so far, you can see one bundle right there, but um, I swear all around the trail has been mountain laurels. So we're getting serenaded by those. Um, and I think I'm seeing blueberry bushes as well, but they're not ready, it's too early. But today we are headed um, about 21 miles and somewhere in the middle there, we have been told that there will be trail magic from 12 to three. So we're hustling. And then some of my parents from my, the class, the reading class. The next Come trail on. magic you get and it's oh, a hot dog. Thank you, you have so to say, much. This is the best looking hot dog. These rocks? <laughs> These rocks? <laughs> Where are we going? Here? <laughs> Skyline Drive, number seven. So we made it to Loft Mountain Campground and Camp Store. We got here about 20 minutes before the store closed. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I woke up today with a sore throat and it has gotten um, much worse throughout the day. <clears throat> That's what's happening right now. I can't talk. <laughs> um, so I got some meds. I'm hoping they do their thing. Um, we were planning on going another mile, but my crew is awesome. And so they're actually, we're gonna get a campsite here because between the six of us, it's five bucks each. So that's not bad. Um, feeling pretty bummed about it though. I might be sick and bedridden at the moment in the field, but I definitely gave two ideas for breaking everyone else, and I feel proud. Good morning. <clears throat> That'd be day two of week. 12, I think, or 11. I can't think right now. Um, I slept pretty good last night, but I woke up and still have something going on in my head. Um, we have a trail angel that we know is meeting us today. <coughs> <coughs> and she's going to bring me a COVID test just in case. But my body is not aching like it was yesterday. And, um, my energy gets up a little bit. Granted, it's the start of the day versus the end of the day. So we'll see how today goes. But hoping for a little bit of a better day. Wow, I did not look happy at all. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo the hatchery. Good morning, ish. It's mid morning from Big Meadows Lodge. Um, I got a room here last night um, and was shuttled by the wonderful trail angel, Queen Diva. Big thank you to her for um, all of the trail magic she's provided the last couple days and then bringing uh, me a COVID test, uh, emergency, some cough drops, and making me chicken noodle soup yesterday at lunch. So, Huge thanks to her for all of the help yesterday. She also shuttled me over here to the lodge where I got a room, um, which is uh, in minor disarray, not too bad, just one night. Um, I'm having my second cup of coffee right now. Um, and I've got a decent view here out of the window. Let me see if I can turn this around. Pretty nice. Um, I'm feeling definitely better um i think whatever i got came from trail days and whatever it was kind of ran through my system at a fast pace um the first night the night i was cowboy camping at the last campground was definitely the worst <laughs> i am still glad i got myself off trail basically my feelings about it are just that I've already been sick on trail, I don't want to deal with it, and I didn't want to miss any parts of the Shenandoah or not be able to appreciate the trail as I was going through it because of being out of it because of a sickness or whatnot. 
um, I found myself the last couple days just trudging. Um, and my friends were all taking pictures of flowers and I didn't even care. And that's not me. <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos, nature is a huge focal point of mine and I was just glossing over everything. Um, and I don't want to experience the trail like that. So I'm happy I pulled myself off trail and gave myself a night to relax and recover and um, have some meds in my system, um, which I've been doing. And I'm feeling much better this morning. I still have um, some head congestion, the lightest of headaches, uh, and a cough. But as far as I can tell, those are the only remaining symptoms, which is cool. Um, so I am headed back out today. Well, I say I'm headed back out today. Today I'm taking um, a surprise zero uh, here at the lodge. Um, basically, I'm missing a 21 mile stretch uh, from where I came off trail yesterday at one of the road crossings of Skyline Drive um, to here. My family uh, had already booked a campsite at the Big Meadows campground, which is walking distance away for tonight. So I'm here at the lodge and basically I'm going to hang out today, let my body sit without pushing a, a bigger mileage day. And then I will walk over and meet them at the campground tonight. Um, I'm not too worried about it and the grand scheme of things over 2,200 miles, 20 miles is small potatoes. Um, and also it gives me kind of an excuse to come back maybe this fall or winter and do a section with Seth or my mom. So I'm not too worried about it. I think I definitely made the right call. Um, and in terms of taking a moment off trail one night is not bad at all. So feeling very happy with my decision. Going to continue resting up here, probably get some porch time later on, and then excited to see my trail family tonight to celebrate Sparky's birthday. As a quick update, <clears throat> my hair is doing a thing today. Uh, I have been in the lobby for about three hours now, at least one and a half of which I was FaceTiming my mama. Um, I also chatted for about 45 minutes um, with uh, two lovely sisters who recognized me from YouTube. So it was great to meet you guys. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Um, you remind me of me and my sister. It was so nice to, to hang out for a little bit and chat backpacking and women in the wild. So um, I'm feeling really good today and thinking that maybe I should leave the lodge soon. We'll see if it happens. There's a deer with a fawn drinking milk at the moment. Do you see this? That's, that's not that old. That yeah, but, but when I'm in it. there. Yeah, and I, here's the thing is they would want you to. That's why they set a tooth there. Oh, you're um, gonna have a good fire tonight for Sparky's birthday. With real firewood and a real campground. Yeehaw. Blackberry milkshakes finally. Woo! Cheers. All right, here we have Moose who has just cracked this watermelon with the power of his thighs. And now he's gonna finish it off. He's a strong boy. Oh, I smell it. it smells good. Yeah. Okay, you, there you go. I'm not eating it. Oh, come on, you want my crotch melon. No. <laughs> no. Good morning. Today we're headed out of the Big Meadows campground where we all cowboy camped in a line last night to celebrate Sparky's birthday. We've got a normal day, pretty well of hiking, um, about 19 miles, and I'm hoping for the best. I do have a sore throat and a little bit of a cough this morning, but I'm hoping they're just morning symptoms. So, fingers crossed the rest of the day gets better. at the stables and these stone pillars here are what have the directions in the Shenandoahs for where to go. They're at every turn. Skyland Resort with a good view off the back. I was trying to show it to hmm. you so you could take a picture of it. What went this way? <laughs> oh, this oh my gosh. Did you hear my point five first? Looks like a bunch of rocks, eh? There's, oh, oh! 
There's a toad. Good morning. Today we woke up at Pass Mountain Shelter um, and it was a really good night's sleep. It wasn't near as cold as the night before, um, which is nice. Um, all slept super good and cozy. I caught up on like five days of journaling that I had gotten behind on. Um, someone claimed they heard a bear walking around their tent, but none of us who were in the shelter heard anything. Um, pretty good night, all things considered. We saw a deer in the trail on the way down to the shelter yesterday when we were arriving and she was back in the trail on the way back up to the AT this morning um, when we were headed out so that was kind of cool to see her twice. Um, today is our last day in the Shenandoahs and I, I, it's gonna be a controversial thought but um, so far I've been kind of underwhelmed by the Shenandoahs. There's been wildlife in the form of deer and rabbits that are plentiful and very obviously accustomed to humans. Um, <clears throat> No bears, although I'm sure that they're seeing us walk by. I think that the reason I'm kind of underwhelmed is partly just because we're in the green tunnel at the moment. We've been talking a lot about how many beautiful views um, and spectacular like balds and uh, knobs and things like that that we have climbed up to so far on the AT because we started in March when we could see through the trees when there wasn't green on them. And it's almost like we're hitting the Shenandoahs now and everything is socked in and there's a couple of views and it's pretty and we cross Skyline Drive and the waysides are cool but other than that um, it feels more similar to the trail that we've been on than I was expecting based off of how people had described it before so <clears throat> just my experience granted I also got sick in the middle so that might be skewed a little bit but um the Shenandoahs have been absolutely beautiful, but not different than the trail that I have seen so far. So looking forward to a good day's hike today, though. We'll be in the Shenandoahs basically all day still. And then at the end of our day, um, after we leave the park, it's like another half a mile to the first shelter. That's where we'll, we'll post up for the night. So looking forward to a good day, a long day. I think it's going to be a 23 mile day is what it's looking like. And um, one last chance for blackberry milkshakes at the last wayside. There are a bunch of withered plants here that are sprayed with something that had blue dye in them. Um, and I have been told it's the garlic mustard. I'm not totally sure if it's invasive or not, but everywhere along the trail in the Shenandoahs, we're seeing these dying stalks and lots of blue coloration from whatever they sprayed them with. I think that's interesting. I did yeah. also did not know that. There was one there. That's if we follow it, we should be good. And so Pippin and Mary run into the Fangorn Forest and they hang out there and they hide. And they watch a, a rattlesnake's back. Goodbye to Shenandoah. Good morning. Another day on the AT. It's a good one though. Um, I think we are getting closer to the end of this like really good weather streak that we've had. Um, we got some weather rolling in, I think after the weekend, but today we are headed on for another day of hiking. Uh, it's about 18 miles, which is six miles shorter than yesterday, which means we get to diddle dally and lollygag as we like to say, <laughs> um, which makes for a really fun day of hiking and I can stop and appreciate some more of the nature that I feel like I've kind of missed out on the last couple of days. So I've separated myself a little bit from the pack so I can have some solo time 
and listen to the birds and be in nature a little bit more. Um, I do love hiking with this group and we do a lot of storytelling. Everybody is uh, listening to audiobooks or reading actual books or listening to podcasts. And while we're hiking, we tend to relay what happened in our stories each night. So that's really fun. It's a lot of really cool storytelling and it's fun to hear everybody's different styles of, of storytelling, but kind of looking forward to some quiet today. So that's what I've done. Um, today we're headed on down though. We're still kind of dropping down from the Shenandoahs headed towards some, um, <clears throat> I, I hate to, I hate to say it cause knock on wood, but headed towards some more flat trail. So we'll see how long it stays like that, but <clears throat> I think it's going to be a really good day and I'm looking forward to identifying some birds and flowers. I'm not sure what it is about these guys, but they kind of just always look a little bit like I don't know, drowned rats, wet dogs. Getting information. Oh yes. This movie is so interesting. But anyway, so yeah, all of a sudden he's like freaking running down these hallways and like. <laughs> the pure joy found some trail magic we got some bubbles from magpie <laughs> and uh flamingos back there and there are tiki torches around we got a pepsi got my bubbles oh here's more of that maple i learned what this is this is maple leaf by Burnham. I'm afraid to say this too loud, but the trail is flat right now. We found the one on the fence line first. What did you guys think about? shelter and then we got a friend. A black snake. Very cute. That's a, ah, I gotta take a picture. Why are we like this in shelters? <laughs> oh god. I can't tell if this is sarcastic or not, but there is a comment that Beth said. Been smelling it all day. Big bushes of honeysuckle. You get to get a little burst of sweet, but then at the end it goes there. Good morning. Um, today we woke up at the shelter and moved so slow. Um, it is the last day of the week and believe it or not I actually remembered that. <laughs> um, so today we kind of split course. The girls are headed down a little bit ahead of us um, because Magpie's friend is coming in town and they're doing a whole thing. They're going to a winery and eating crostinis and things like that and me and the boys are going to be huffing it together the next couple days because tomorrow we are doing the four state challenge. So um, we're kind of jumping around a little bit. Basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna hike to point A, jump to point B. Um, we will get dinner and things like that in between the, that time frame with the trail angel who's picking us up. Um, we will hike into a little stealth spot, do the four state challenge, then we're going to have a few days off and we will come back and get that little stretch that we missed. There's about a 20 mile section that we're going to skip um, to try and make all this happen because we have a timeline for Harper's Ferry. So I'm getting pretty excited about that. But today is a lot of getting us set up to actually do that. Um, but today, that means that today is relatively easy. We've got a 12 mile hike of which we're maybe four miles into Um down to where we're going to meet Queen Diva, who's our trail angel, who's going to give us a ride. Um, and it looks like a pretty, pretty chill day. We will start the Virginia roller coaster today and then finish it in next week's video um, in a few days. <laughs> so kind of confusing. We're getting every single mile. We're just jumping ahead a little bit to try and squeeze in the four state challenge before we go into Harper's Ferry. So Looking forward to that and trying to take it a little bit easy on ourselves today in prep. Hi. 
Hiker warning. <laughs> Entering the roller coaster. Have a great ride. <laughs> okay, here we go. See that bird? Oh, I'm too far away. It's got a red body and a black wing. That is a scarlet tanager and it just dropped something, so it might go down to get it. Scarlet tanagers and indigo tanagers we've been seeing and hearing for a while now. Oh, there she went. I think she's over there. <laughs> so that bird was a scarlet tanager. Super cool to see. We've been seeing the scarlet and indigo tanagers for a while now. Um, and hearing them through the forest too, which is really cool. The last time I got the chance to go to Costa Rica um, was not this past January, but it was in the month of January a few years ago. And over the winter, tanagers um, go down to Central and South America um, for overwintering. And then they come up here for the breeding season. And that was, it's just really cool to see those like bright fluorescent tropical colored birds. Uh, up here in our forests. Um, we are back out on trail. Queen Diva gave us incredible trail magic. Huge thank you to all the people through her church and the families that are sponsoring that because that makes such a huge difference. We got a great spaghetti dinner um, to carb load because tonight we are basically just walking out here to a stealth site um, about 0 .5, 0 0.5 from the West Virginia line. Um, and tomorrow will be an early day, starting off the next week strong with the four state challenge. So hoping we get some good sleep tonight. I think we are just cowboy camping, but it's me and the boys having a grand old time. I will also say that there has been a new meaning for TC that they have come up with. Uh, so apparently out of everyone, you know, our muscles change as we hike, but out of everyone, I have the largest calf muscles, so TC has uh, now turned into thunder calves. I think that in Harper's Ferry, I'm also going to like detach this big toenail, <laughs> or at least like cut it back. Significant. Oh, hi. 